I was in elementary school and we would go to church in the morning and I was just completely enamored with the light that came through the stained glass windows. And I would just stare at them for the longest time, just watching the light go, okay, and there's a shadow here, and there's a light here, and there's a ray coming through here. Um, but I never thought at that time that I would do anything with stained glass. I have been involved with arts and performing and visual arts for almost all of my life and I got involved with stained glass about 20 years ago and absolutely fell in love with doing this particular art. You know, it's just a different medium. It's the same thinking, but different medium. And all the mediums are unique and different and have their own different characteristics. So one is not really better than the other as far as I'm concerned, but I'm sold on stained glass. There's just something that's there. When I was cutting my first pieces of glass, I said, oh, this is so cool. You can do this and you're not gonna cut yourself. It's my art form. It's my visual art form. And that's what led me into this. So each and every piece of glass art is very unique because the bubbles will be different, the lines might be a little bit different, the texture might be a little bit different. The lines on here, which is called wispy, I like to use these lines to paint with. So it depends on which way I put them and how I use them. There have been people in the Youngstown Warren area who are very familiar with art and art galleries who have come up to me and said, you really paint with your art? And I said, I'd like people to think that as opposed to just sticking a color in with a design in geometric shape. I want to express myself with the textures and the colors through painting with it in my design. So that makes me really aware in terms of how I'm designing my pieces out. That's why there's so many different kinds of glass in my studio because that's my paint palette. I work with the Tiffany style, so I'm using foil and I work with my glass differently where the sky is the limit. I can cut and design and do tiny, tiny little pieces. I'm going to trace out my pieces. So my cutter, I start at the end of the glass and I press. And I get that little, like a ripping sound. And then I use my, let's see, <laughs> my running players and I line up my score line, because that's what this is called, onto my little black line here so that I can see it, and I snap it. Okay, this piece right here is supposed to have a straight edge, and it's not straight. This up here is curved, so I'm going to straighten it out. Okay, so the edges on here now, you should see some sand on the edges. Okay, that makes the piece a safe piece. I love the creative aspect of it. I love teaching it to watch how people work. I like collaborations with people. That to me is interesting and fascinating because I find people interesting and fascinating. So I retired from teaching in 2015 and I thought, you know, just for the fun of it, just go out and check out the art galleries. And when I came to the Trumbull Arts Gallery, my heart fell in love with the place. So I, I signed up to volunteer there. Well, Lynn's a volunteer here. That's how I first met her. We try to offer classes so people can learn skills and techniques in different media. And she's always wanted to teach a class and it took us a while to figure out how the best to do it because of all the machines. So we discovered this way where she makes the pieces at home and brings them in and we put them together. And it just worked out really well. And she said, this is the answer. This is what we're looking for. So I am officially uh, a stained glass instructor now out of Trumbull Arts Gallery. There have been people who have been wanting to work with stained glass in the past and never had an opportunity to. And the workshops that I offer make it easy for them to use safe glass to pick out pieces of art that they, they think they would like to put into their homes. And they're very pleased with their work. And that's the whole point. The one I picked is a star and it has a really pretty blue on the outside of it and it has a, like a white glass and iridescent glass in it. 
I'm so excited. I can't wait. I can't. I have like the perfect place to put it, so I'm super excited to see it. It's not as difficult as I thought. You know what I mean? Like some things you think like, oh, that's way too hard. I wouldn't be able to do that. And then doing some of the things, you're like, okay. I mean, it's really kind of the same thing as every any other kind of craft. It's just learning how to do it instead of being so overwhelming. You get different designs to pick from. So everybody gets to pick their own design in their own colors. I've learned that it, it looks very detailed, but yet anybody can do it. The way you wrap the copper and the way you solder on, everybody uses their own style. And there's no mistakes in art. Everybody's piece is unique and creative. And that's that way with any art medium. I've enjoyed this so much. I find it to be very therapeutic and meditative. It's one of those times that you can just kind of turn your mind off and just kind of focus on what you're doing. You know, you have to make certain that that copper tape is on correctly, that you're doing the soldering with the lead, that you're doing that just right to fill it in. And so I can turn off my mind and not think of, you know, stuff that I have going on in my life. And I can just focus on me and what's going on right in front of me. So I, I really love that. When I'm working with folks, I like to keep it simple so that their initial encounter with stained glass is, wow, this is really cool. This is a whole different way to think. We didn't know there was this much work to stained glass. Now we know why it's so expensive. <laughs> but just to watch the creativity of how people work and what they do and how they think, and I just absorb that somehow. It's kind of like a sponge. Just really fun. It's fascinating to me.